Hello, we back. Listen, this is vlog 42, part 2 on the little things. As you can see, I have a special guest on my show. <laughs> he likes to be the center of attention. Um, and she tends to get it. Alright. You say hi. You say hi. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so I left off on three. Um, video vlog one was. Excuse me, I'm talking here. <laughs> Sorry, I was way too close to my face. All right, I need to calm down. Okay, so I left off with number three, which um, is employment. Um, we tend to take our job, our the, our jobs, for granted. Um, we tend to want um, something better, and I understand that because I'm kind of in the same boat. You know what I mean? When when I first when I got back from the camp at the end of August last year, I had some stuff lined up um, to where I would have moved to LA. Um, and what I had pretty good, I would have stuff going for me. Um, but I knew if I moved there that it'd be very difficult to come out here and see my girlfriend and her family because I know they would not want to drive out there. Um, and so I had to make the sacrifice of saying, well, I don't know what else to do. Um, it's either I live in my car for a little bit um, or I go home. Um, and the, I, I was applying for jobs left and right. I wasn't getting any callbacks. Um, but two weeks later, I got a callback from the, the job that I'm working at right now. And I um, was pretty much hired within the week. Um, and, you know, they did say at the beginning that it wasn't going to be the best job um, just due to hours. Um, I said, well, I needed something to get off my feet. I needed a, I need something to have somewhat of an income, get out and about, not always be here, because I could tell it gets annoying for my girlfriend and her family that I'm here all the time. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm in the line of, of looking for something else, because... You know, I'm grateful for the guys who I work with, but I don't know how grateful they are of me because, you know, I give in, I give my all to this job despite the hours, um, but I'm always, I'm always in line and I'm always staying true to, to who they are, um, but I'm also looking for something else because financially, it's not... I can't take care of myself with just a few days a week. Um, and so, you know, but some people don't have jobs in general. You know, you think about the homeless. They did once have jobs and they lost it. You know, um, or they were in the military and they weren't promised what they were given at the end of their, their uh, time. Stop shaking. It's not that cold. Um, we, we, we tend to complain about the jobs, how our jobs suck, and how jobs can be difficult, that, you know, we don't like a certain boss or a manager, or so we tend to just blame others for, you know, and, and you know what I suggest for that is, is, is get out of there, you know, find a different job then if you're not so happy. But, you know, a job's a job, and, you know, you can't overlook that, because we're all there. We, you know, when, when they say that money isn't everything, they're lying. Money is, has to do with a lot of stuff. I mean, we can't really provide for ourselves without having any money. 
Um, so essentially, money is everything. Um, but then once it gets to the point where you're obsessed with having money, and that's all you want, then it becomes an issue. Number four, guys, is we tend to take our senses for granted. Now, I had to think for a minute on that. Um, we, but because at first I was like, our senses? Um, I know what they were referring to, but I didn't know how to go about it, bringing it up here. And so it took me a minute. But, you know, you, you think about the blind how they can't see. You know, think about Stevie Wonder, um, most iconic piano player, harmonica player, I mean, probably one of the best musicians around, um, who, you know, made a life out of making music, you know, because he used his music as a mantle to say how he was feeling, that people didn't really try to understand who he was because of his blindness, and so they tend to say, you know what, you know, the hell with it, basically, you know what I mean, um, you know, and, and, and then you think about the deaf, people who can't hear, um, you know, one thing that you, you see out of all these people that uh, lack in certain areas is that they don't let it bring them down, that they continue on and they look to the other senses that they are weak, uh, that they have left, and they enjoy life, you know. So I think that's what I got from that. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys want to comment down below um, and put your two cents on it, you're more than welcome to. Um, anything you want to add? Um, number five is huge. Huge, huge. Um, ten, people tend to, um, um, push over education. People tend to think that education isn't a big thing when it is. Um, I'm 28 and I've been out of, uh, of school for just about 10 years, a little over 10 years. Um, it's been a little while, and one thing that I regret was that, well, see, my education was a little rough, um, and I'll, I'll get into that later on with another thing that I have here. Um, another uh, li uh, thing on the list that I'll, I'll go over with, but education is very important. What you're being taught is, is you may not understand it right then and there, but when you're out and about like I am and on your own, you, you need to know what they're teaching you because they're teaching you on how to survive, basically. Um, and, then, and I know it could be boring, I know it can be long, but what they are teaching you is very valuable. Um, Alright, now, health. Health is very, extremely important, that, that people tend to overlook. So health is very, very important. We tend to overlook, we tend to think... You know, oh, um, that little bitty pain in my in my side of the leg is, is nothing. That it'll pass over. When really, it's probably there for a reason, and you should get it checked out. Because it could be something totally worse. Um, so, go to your doctor. You know, go to your doctor... I think it's every six months they want, they, they want you to go. So like twice a year, basically. Um, I haven't seen a doctor in two years. Um, not that I've been putting it off, but the fact that I've been trying to get things tied over here. Um, 
getting things transferred and stuff. I have a doctor, um, whatnot. I'm waiting on my health ID card or whatever I need to have to go do it. But I've mentioned before that um, my my grandpa passed away from a heart attack, and what it sounded like when my dad passed away was a heart attack as well. Um, but they're not saying it that that's what it was. Um, uh, they're, they're just saying that their, his heart was blocked, that the um, heart valve that was connected to, to the heart, to the brain, wasn't getting enough oxygen, and so it was blocked. And uh, so we're, we're, we were, we're calling it a heart attack. Um, and I've mentioned that, you know, I want to get my heart checked out too because I've been having these weird um, heart murmurs here and there. So whenever I get stressed out and stuff, or overwhelmed or whatever or angry um, it tends to stop um, just for a second or two and it's it's obviously nothing to it's it's not it's not just a little thing because it's happened more than once and so um, you know I, I, I'm gonna get checked out and once I get that done I'm gonna get my eyes checked out because my eyes need to be checked out my eyes are terrible um, I, I mean I got I got everything I got uh, I got uh, two cataracts, so I got a cataract in each eye. Um, I have astigmatism, so blurriness in both. Um, color blindness, which isn't, I mean, too crazy. It's not. I mean, I can still see colors and stuff, but you know, there are some people that are color blind. They don't. All they see is black and white. Um, so you know, but what I'm saying is, your health is important. Do not think of it as just a little thing because it's huge, all right? Like I, like I said with that quote, you need to go get it checked out. You need to go get checked out regularly by your doctor. I hate my dentist. I think everybody does, mainly because my teeth are terrible. I already know that. And uh, every time that I go in and I get checked out, I hate when they stick four of the needles inside your mouth to get it checked out and get your teeth pulled out and stuff like that and whenever they whenever they would sh shoot me with the needle in the mouth um it would definitely hurt you know the novocaine wasn't on fully um because you'd, you'd feel that initial poke and uh i remember one time i got i got i got um my wisdom teeth taken out um all four of them at once um and oh Oh, it hurts so bad. I had a tear come down the side of my face. And the lady was like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, you just stuck my mouth with a needle, and I got a tear coming down my face. Um, anyways, um, I haven't seen a dentist in a while, but I probably should. Um, once I get all that stuff tied over. Um... I'm really close to getting my car and stuff done, so that is one huge thing lifted off my shoulders. Anyways, I'm going off topic now. I'm sorry. Um, okay, number seven people tend to overlook, like I said before, is having a home. Um, I kind of listed that off in the other video at the beginning. Um, ten People are complaining about how their house looks. You know, there might be a minor issue or something like that. And, uh, you know, obviously you want to make sure that's okay. You could take care of it and stuff. But, like, people are always complaining about wanting four bathrooms or, you know, they want the bigger house with the slide deck coming out of it or something like that, you know. Um, and what I say to that is that, you know, see, I, I sleep in an RV. I, 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 um, with, with my girlfriend, um, in the same lot of their house, um, they, you know, they could easily have said, you know, no, you can't stay here. And for a while they did. Um, that's why I was in the hotels for as long as I was. And then the camp was something that needed, or I needed to do to, um, re-engage with my relationship with God and help those kids. Alright guys, I'm going to have to continue the rest in this next video, okay? Kyle Louie will be back.